Hello and welcome on tutorial, well, how to upgrade your armor and tools. So, it's pretty simple. First of all, you need to be proficient in smithing. So, for example, if you want to get better wooden tools, of course, you need to be no ice smithing. If you want better stone tools, apprentice smithing. If you want better iron tools, you will adapt. And then diamond tools, expert smithing and master smithing. And for bows, you get Fletcher. Anyways, as you can see, I'm level 14, which means I suck at smithing, but I can show you how to craft all the armor. Or can I? We will see soon. So, first thing you need to do is, well, smelt the iron ingot to get hot iron ingot. Now, what this basically do is just prepares the item, well, for molding. So think of it in like a roleplay perspective, you're preparing your heating ingot to mold it. Then, with that you can craft, for example, let's say iron helmet, which, as you can see, sucks. But if you have skill that is over level 40, you can craft iron armor. So let's switch to the other account and I'll explain from there. And we are back with another account. Both of those accounts are me. This guy is just my, well, survival play guy who doesn't have admin command, so, you know, I can't cheat. And this is the owner account, which, of course, gets a bit of buffs, but anyways. So, we need to ignore our climb. We can take those hot iron ingots and take it from me to continue, and we will take our water bucket. So anyways, now, as you can see, you have hot iron ingots. And let's say we craft a chest plate. As you can see, it's great chest plate. Amazing, right? But, 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 that is not all. You can improve this iron chest plate by smelting it again. So let me just get a few blocks, as you can see. And that iron chest plate is getting smelted. Now, what it does is same process as with iron ingot. It heats it up so you can, well, mold it into better armor. And as you can see, it has less durability. That's totally okay. Because next thing you do is fill cauldron with water and watch this magic trick. Let me just go into survival. You see, it has 53 durability. Great. Now, you throw it into cauldron and my other account picks it up. But we're gonna steal it from him. And as you can see, it has 415 durability. Now, isn't that great? And you can improve this even further, so increase the armor stat. And how you do it, it's pretty simple. You just open your crafting inventory and bam! As you can see, from, fi from 5.96 to 7.46, which is a really good upgrade. So yeah, that's how you craft custom armor. Same applies to tools, but with tools you can actually add modifiers like polishing stone, sharpening stone and leather. Sharpening stone, well basically sharpens the tool, makes it sharper. Polishing stone also makes it razor sharp, so it's even sharper than before. And leather increases the swing speed, so yeah, that's that. And all those recipes you can check with Valhalla or Wall Wheel recipes. And they are in shaped crafting recipes. As you can see, those are currently recipes we have. And you probably won't see all of those because you need higher level smithing. But as you can see, you can craft, for example, spears, maces, war hammers, and daggers. Or, for example, you can go to last page and you can craft trinkets too. Or armor that uh, boosts skills. For example, this, this armor boosts the vanilla experience gain. Or, for example, this upgrade armor. Yeah, this boosts smithing. And as you can see, upgrade skill, XP, netherite boots. Basically, you can upgrade immunity. Basically, you can further enhance your armor. And you have all your brewing recipes over here, and yeah, that's that. Basically, if you don't understand how recipes work, as you can see, for example, you have gunpowder and sand, and 
the GUI shown there for GSG, GSG and GSG is basically how you put it in crafting table to get the output. But yeah, it isn't that hard to understand. Or for example here, one diamond and one ender pearl combines so shapeless crafting into unstable diamond. Same goes for brewing potions. So puffer fish plus aqua potion makes a water beating potion. As you can see splash like yeah and you got those special potions that you can increase again to boost your skills even further for example you are a smith and you're level 60 and you want to craft a better gear what you do is find an alchemist on server give him the things he needs to craft usually farmers or miners find those and then he can craft you potions for example fortify smithing which will increase your for, uh, smithing skill around 20% or something like that. So yeah, I'll leave you to explore. And those, uh, not all of those sections have recipes yet, but we are working on improving them. So yeah, that's just short introduction. You know what to do. Leave a like, share, subscribe, do what you do best, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!